Okay, now we're gonna check whether it's correct or not. Okay, now we're gonna go exit 8 and 9. 8 and 9. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> this is on sale today. So for the whole day, it's 600 yen. No, I need to check. 600 yen. And it's unlimited, but it's for today, Saturday, but we're not too Saturday, sure Sunday, why. Public holiday. Saturday, Sunday, and public holiday, but it's only valid for one day, as you can see there. So, so it's good if you are traveling a lot. 8 9. I think they also have unlimited one, but it's like 800 on big screen. Maybe, yeah. Okay, honestly speaking, we are so, so lost because just now when we came from Namba Station, 8 9 wasn't this route. Oh but yeah, we went down and we went back up. Now. Yeah, we went down and we went up. Now it's the other way, which is still fine as long as you follow exit 9. So you need to go to exit 9, <laughs> okay? No, you just don't go to number. You see, there's an exit 9. It's not even in, you have to go down. Yeah, that's why we, we were confused. So this is a very long way, especially if you are traveling with huge luggage, you will know in a bit what you mean. Where we came out earlier, and then we have to drag our bags all the way here. As you can see, there are a lot of stairs if you have huge luggage to go to this hotel. Uh, we've already checked in, so I'm gonna show you the initial footages of how we suffered but here's the route we follow this way from there here in this tunnel and it's also quite quiet and looks a bit dodgy so come in groups if you are so just keep walking you hear the IR in 223 Ikidani Cozy Hotel is where we're staying. I think 9 to 10 o'clock the registration is closed so we have like a passcode to go into. Passcode. So open this laundry which is free but you have to pay for this. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if this is open. No, it's not. Oh, it's closed, but we'll just show you this one. 10 pm. 10 pm closed. So, even this place is small. Four person. Four person. It's really, really Three small. Kg. Only like two people with two of the big luggages could fit in earlier. Yeah. Level three. Three and four is the, the laundry place. And I think we didn't get the expensive one, so we have to share the bathrooms. We're only paying one night eight for pay four nights for three people. So this is our room. Is that hot water? Yes. There's hot water. So how is it so far? Apple shoe is this? Fine. Oh. I used to go everywhere. There's an shoe. Sorry. Yes. Warm water is really nice. Like, really? like I didn't want to get out of the shower. Really? So, yeah. Oh, hair. And I didn't like No, I didn't dry my hair. But yeah. there's a hair dryer over there. So we can dry our hair there. Eh? Yeah, is this a like heater? Hair. Yeah, it's I heater. Yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot. Yeah. This is the quadruple room. Um, how's the bed so far? Very comfortable. I almost fell asleep. Ha, <laughs> see? <laughs> No, it's actually very soft. See? But it's sinking, right? It's sinking, but it's actually like very soft. So, how would you rate it so far with the money that you paid for? Oh, worth it, I think. Worth it? Yeah. I think the best 
think but the location wise for people who with this kind of luggage is so we have to carry all this but it's quite spacious there and then there's this tv there's a um, mini fridge this and not bad yeah We'll review more in the morning with the lounge and whatever there is on level 1 But There's something is level 5 as well, I think like open space in level 5 Oh, okay, so we'll go that there tomorrow So we've been staying here for a couple of nights And these are the disadvantages of staying here This is the hotel's Yeah, Brandy shower is only first one, third floor So if you stay at the second floor Good luck! As you can see, there is only one lady's toilet for the entire floor. You get me one toilet to do your business. Shower room. Okay, they're all great. There's hot water and the pressure is good. But the thing is, you're sharing it with these guys. No way, like that is a no-no for me especially, I mean but no choice because it's cheap right? So I would prefer if there was a shower room for August and I don't mind sharing that but for guys sharing this I think it's a little bit too much so if you're not comfortable with those kind of things then don't do like don't book it here so yeah mm, but there is washing machine, dryer you have to pay for your own laundry so and there's microwave and the wi-fi sucks here obviously so we've been staying here how would you rate it so far guys okay, just, to sleep. just to sleep right yeah. the beds are really comfy no doubt um it's spacious i would say for three people but this was not what i ordered um obviously what i saw on the photo was three single beds and not this double decker bed so i'm not sure why they gave me that and i thought there was like a private um bathroom but obviously not so that's something disappointing but Hopefully, um, that would help you guys to make a decision in terms of where to stay in Osaka. You can either stay and uh, choose a location which is very strategic, like my friends at um, Namba Station or Nimponbashi Station. Uh, that is about 198 to about 200 bucks per night versus this $198 for three whole nights and for three persons. FYI. So obviously her place is more strategic. Once you come out, there's Kurumon Market, there's Namba Station, there's Donton Buri, everything in walking distance. There is also a laundry available. Um, you can fit about four people, but the space is not as I feel like uh, it's almost quite same because there obviously there's kitchen and, uh, and all um, And that's just expensive that's all Hopefully this video will help you to make a decision A good one I hope uh, In Osaka If you are a person who's okay with sharing bathroom with other genders Then feel free to book at this place And because it's cheap you just need a bit hit to rest It's quite strategic as well It's two stations away from Namba That's fine um, It's nearer to Osaka Universal Studios Japan um, This is like 10-15 minutes away uh, But obviously you can't use your Osaka card Or any kind of pass to there Because there's a JR line there as well So if you're planning to use uh, You know the entire uh, You know station like JR line Blah 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 and all those things Then use the JR pass uh, Make sure to just calculate your fare and see which is worthy But we did not get that uh, apparently you can use in Tokyo I'm not too sure so make sure to google and research that as well so hope you like this video make sure you subscribe like share and if you're a gamer like Mitch she's on Twitch what's your handler and promote Mitch yourself Milo. everything's Mitch Milo and I bought her this yeah good job make sure to subscribe see you in the next vlog cheers <laughs>